Hello guys, Claudemir here again with a quick video and today I'm gonna teach you how to find your IP address, the IP address of your camera in the network if you don't have it. I have a Hike Vision camera and a WiseNet camera. Let's suppose we don't know their IP and it also works with non-branded camera. I have Hike Vision and WiseNet, they are professional cameras because I just don't have a non-branded chip camera, but it works with non-branded chip cameras as well. So let's see this diagram, let me explain. Uh, the laptop is connected to the POA switch that powers the Hike Vision and the WiseNet camera and they have the IP, I pretending that I don't know and I have my laptop IP, which I know because I have access to my laptop, so I must know the IP here and it's connected to a router and to the internet. Here is the real scenario. My laptop connected to the switch. The switch is connected to the internet, to the router that goes to the internet. I have the Samsung camera or WiseNet camera and the uh, Hike Vision camera, both connected here using PoE. So the PoE is powering the camera, okay? I have the switch, but you can also use power supply directly into your camera if you want to then you don't need to use a PoE switch, but I recommend to use this PoE switch. I'll leave the link here in the description, okay? So back to the diagram, I'm going to use a software uh, on my computer that's called Wireshark. It's a free software that can listen to the communication here on the network. As long as I have everybody in the same segment, the physical segment and um, the same broadcast domain, the camera is going to send information trying to communicate with the devices and this Wireshark can hear and then I can see the IP, doesn't matter which IP is here, okay? So let me explain how it works. First, I'm gonna show you the interfaces. So I disable the other inter interfaces that I have. Disable, disable, and Wi-Fi is disabled because I'm using a laptop. Only interface enabled here is the Ethernet. That's the one from my laptop just to make sure I have traffic only on this interface and not in the other ones. My IP, let me just right click, properties, and show the IP, 192.168.0.160. That's the IP of my computer, and the gateway 192.168.0.1, okay? I, I'm going to change here my IP on purpose just to be different from the cameras because I have the cameras on this network, 192.168.0. something. This camera is the same, 192.168.0. something. And I am pretending that I don't know and I'm just changing the IP so they're in a different subnet now and I still can find the information about their IP. So let me explain what's going on. Uh, though there are other devices connected here to this router. I'm not showing them here, but they are here. So the software is going to capture the information for all of them because I have the cable connected here to the switch. Back again, I have the cable that goes to my router and back there on my router, there are a lot of other devices. I'm gonna see all of them here. So I'm gonna show you first and then I'm going to disconnect the cable to make our lives easier so I don't have too, man, too much information, okay? So let me just open the software. So it's Wireshark, it's free, you can download from the internet. And Wireshark can see my interfaces and sees my internet interfaces and shows that some activity here already. So I'm going to use this interface, okay? Remember that I'm talking about this interface that's connected here to the switch. It's the only one that's enabled right now. I double click here and I start seeing a lot of information. Don't be scared with uh, a lot of information. Those are technical stuff. I'm going to make uh, things simple here and explain only what you need to know. So basically here's the source, destination, protocol. You don't need to care about the protocol and information about IP and who is looking for who in this IP range here, okay? 
So as you can see, there are a lot of devices. We see here Cisco, we see Netgear, we see Quanta CO, Cisco again. So I can just press here to keep rolling the screen. I have a lot of information here because I have this cable connected. As I was saying, I'm going to disconnect the cable so I don't have so much information, okay? So you need to keep as simple as possible like this, just the cameras and the laptop, okay? To make it simple. And now you can see that I don't have information about the Cisco anymore, about the Netgear and other devices anymore, okay? Because I have another Netgear in the other room, okay? So, so fewer information here. And now let's make my life easier, uh, easier. Let me just disconnect the cables here from the cameras. Okay, I'm going here step by step, guys, so you can understand better what's going on, so you don't make mistakes there. So here to the Wireshark now, there's no much communication here. So I have just my laptop connected to the switch. Nobody's communicating here. So what I'm going to do is connect my first camera. Let me just start with this one. This is a high vision camera. I know that's a high vision camera, but I don't know the IP. At least I'm pretending that I don't know the IP, okay? So I connect the camera here. I wait for a while and the camera is going to boot up and then I can see some information. So I pay attention here. What devices are talking to my computer, okay? So just uh, wait like 30 to 40 seconds so the camera can boot up and the camera is going to announce itself on my network. I just see some information here, but just to make it easier, easier, I'm just waiting for the announcement. Every device that connects to the network announces itself, so I can't, I can know that the device is available on the internet or on my segment, okay? So here I have something already, okay? So uh, I have Hangzhou, device again Hangzhou device Hangzhou device that's probably my camera okay why because I have my computer here with the IP 160 and the only other one device here is this Hangzhou you see Hangzhou it's an uh, announcement for its IP 192.168.0.103 that's my high vision camera then Okay, Hangzhou is the name of the interface interface card. Okay, and um, here is the IP, the information that I'm looking for. If I like keep rolling here, I have more Hangzhou again. Hangzhou uh, is asking who has 192.168.0.1, tell 192.168.0.103. So basically this guy is asking for information. He wants to know who has this IP because that's the gateway he's supposed to send the packet to when he tries to go to the internet. So now for sure I know that I have this IP for my high vision camera. I know, I know that's a high vision camera because I connected the high vision camera. I know my cameras, okay? So let's do the same with the Samsung camera now. I know Hangzhou is the high vision. I'm going to connect my Samsung now or WiseNet, they're the same. It's also known as Hawa cameras, okay? So I just connected, I need to wait for a while because again, it's going to send the power and power the camera on. Look back here at the screen. So we still see Hangzhou and I supposed to see something different in a while. Uh, I have my computer's IP, uh, also the uh, high vision of IP. Just need to wait 30 to 40 seconds and I can see something different. Okay. A little bit more guys, just be patient and here we go. I have something new, Samsung something is broadcasting the information using the IP 192.168.0.1. 101 okay so that's the camera okay here is again 101 so i know i know my ips i know my computer ip 160 
and I know the high vision 0103 and I know now that I have the Samsung camera using uh, 0101 okay so I keep rolling here I see more information if I want to now what I need to know to do is access my cameras I know I they have the IP right now but I can't access using uh, Internet Explorer, for example, because I need to change my IP first. Remember that I have a different IP here. So I come here in properties. Let me just change this to zero. So now we are in the same subnet. Okay. And now I can, let's say, using Windows R, open this run cmd okay and then i can send the ping to my camera that's the first thing that i do before trying to use a web browser i can type ping 192.168.0.101 that's the samsung camera it's responding okay reply from the camera and let me just do it again so uh the it hit the arrow here and I just change the final here to 103 for the high vision camera. It's working as well, all right? So I can come here with my web browser and just type the IP here. And here we go. I have my high vision camera, username and password. Wait for a while. Should be a little dark because it's nine right now. Just wait for a while and here we go okay sorry for the image but the camera is back there close to the window and but the idea is that it's working and now i found my camera okay and it's the same with the samsung let me just change here to the samsung or wisenet and insert my password Wait for a while, it's going to load. And here we go, okay? Sorry for the image again. I just was testing the camera. It's close to the window there. It's just for this video, okay? So it's working, both of them. So that's the idea, guys. That's, uh, sorry for the video, it's a little bit longer, but the idea is to understand how you can find your camera. Now you can connect your camera that way Disconnect as much cable as possible. Don't connect to your router. Connect only to the switch. Or if you're using your router, you're going to see more information. Even if it's connected some cables because your router also get information from devices connected via Wi-Fi, right? So basically here, your laptop with the Wireshark is going to see everything, but you can like by process of elimination, find your cameras there, just looking for information about the cameras okay so that's it guys i hope that can help you find the ip of your camera using this method and works with non-branded camera which is much much important because with the high vision and wise net camera i have the ip configuration tools that's much much easier to use i have another video here in the channel you just take a look on how to use the ip configuration tools that finds the device on the network high vision has it uh wisenet also has it but some cameras don't have okay when the camera don't have you can use this method to find your camera in the network and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave your thumbs up click on the bell to receive a notification and i see you in the next one